not adjust your screen. You are now about to enter the world of the Knights of War. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Friday. That means today it's a new episode of Haunters React. Today, I have my very special guest with me. You've seen him on the channel many times. He's here to party. He's here to have a good time. Mr. Aaron Frame, how are you? Good, brother. How are you doing? It's been a, it's been a cool minute since we did that Shoot the Shit episode now. Uh, I thought I'd, brought you, I'd bring you back for some more fun, man. Uh, a new show I just started, <laughs> Haunters React. What better person to ask on the show than you, sir, who's had um, some lengthy experience at the event itself so uh what do you got for us today on the table brother yeah well first off thanks for having me back man i always love supporting the channel i love what you guys do you know i say it all the time you guys are the biggest and best uh, updating channel out there so appreciate i appreciate it, you having me back on anytime um side note i got some deer meat in the fridge with your name on it so bro, you gotta get that going soon. coming down <laughs> he's gonna chef it up for me bro yeah we gotta get that going soon man yeah. um but yeah, so I'm excited to be here, uh, you know, support your guys' channel again. Uh, I, like I told you earlier, initially what I wanted to do was my favorite maze of all time at, at any event, um, but especially Knott's would be Blood Bayou 2004. That was like, to me, that's like the best of the best. Right. However, that was really true up until 2018, where I had the opportunity to cast lead Paranormal, which I think now is probably the best maze ever. Um, I'm saying that half floating and half serious, um, <laughs> but I thought right now, you know, instead of just doing a maze that I thought was great and showing my age by how long I've been doing in the event, I think this yeah. would be a good opportunity for me to highlight my talent that worked for me in that maze and how great they did and how kick-ass they were and give them the flowers and the credit that they deserve. And we'll make sure everyone sees the greatness that was Paranormal 2018. Paranormal 2018, man, a, a phenomenal maze overall. Um, one of my favorites. And you know what? This is going to be a first for Haunters React because you actually got to cast lead in this maze. He's actually going to give us a little bit of behind the scenes as well as we watch the maze. Uh, again, point out some of his talented talent. <laughs> and uh, it should be a lot of fun. He's going to do the best he can. And yeah. you know, we're going to let him do uh, whatever he can get to. Uh, it's, a f it's about a six-minute video, so we we'll get through as much as we can. But no promises you'll get the whole story. I'll save a lot of the stories for the end of the video, but sure. I can't promise you'll get all the stories that I'm really allowed to say or not. Yeah. So I'll do my best. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So here we go, brother. We're going to start this up right now. Paranormal 2018 and Not Scary Farm in three, right. two, one. Oh, man. A five all minute right. wait. That's, yeah, yeah, that's that, that never happens. This is the beginning of the night. <laughs> By the way, I want to give a lot of credit to my line control, man. They were terrific. Yes. We put people through that maze at such a high capacity. It's one of the it's the fan favorite, man. It's always packed. Yeah. What an entrance too. Like Dude, so iconic. pretty, so beautiful. Yes. I agree, man. You're going to the asylum, man. Right there to the left, there's a little curtain right there that leads straight to the back. And I used to walk out of it all the time really quickly and it would scare the shit out of all the people in the line right there. <laughs> it's a good uh, pre scare. Looking through it. That guy's looking yeah. through it right now. It's a good little pre-scare, you know? Yeah, yeah. Get their heart racing a little bit. Now, this is God, the uh, grand pretty, showroom in the beginning. Maze. Yep. God, I'm so fortunate to be a part of this thing. So that was Amanda. Amanda was one of my three um, show hosts. Right. She did great. She made up pretty much the whole script on her own, made up a name for herself the whole bit. That's awesome. She, she was on it. Dude, imagine her doing that for a maze. Imagine what she can be like out in the streets, bro. Coming up with oh, all yeah. that. Oh, yeah. She'd be great. Her dad is a... Uh, he wore it to Nazi. He just stuff with the ghost town alive. Oh, nice. Cool. So she has it in her blood, you know that. Yeah, thing. man. She could be a good value to ghost town, bro. I don't know if she works hall anymore, but I'll have to talk to her again. She... All my, all my show hosts, I kind of gave him a rough skeleton... Um, script and I was like, just really, just do what you want. Here's just the main points you have to hit with the ghost pod, and then when the you're all going to die thing. But other than that, do what you want. <laughs> oh, dude, incredible! 
Now, how many of uh, these people did you have doing that? Uh, we have three. Three? We have three. Oh, yeah. Give them shadow demons. All right, we're going to the library side, not the doctor side. Okay. That's what I liked about it, too. You had two different intros to this maze. Yeah. And yeah. that made you want to go in multiple times to see what the other side was, you know? Right. right. I believe right here you have an air cannon, unless I'm wrong. No, maybe not. That room is great, because this room, there's so many places to hide. Yeah. Well, you know what was cool about this maze, too, was, like, it gave... I don't know if you've ever played the video game Outlast. No, I haven't. So it's a bit, it's like a first-person game. You can't fight. You can't anything. All you can do is hide and run. Um, uh -huh. But it takes place in an insane asylum, so you have to get through, like, all these, like, crazy people throughout the entire game. It's freaking it's insane. It gives me those kind of vibes. Man, this must have been at the beginning of the year because... Um uh, there's, I know like the crawler spot up there was empty for a week or two and then we filled it right here in this hallway. It was empty for a week or two and then we filled it. There's Rex. That guy had a scream, like blood curdling scream and did really well. Yeah. I love this room. The morgue room is amazing. It, I mean, this beauty, the, the beauty of this maze with all the technology that's used is just extraordinary. It's ahead of its time. Yeah, it yeah, just and it's still to this day next level. Yeah, dude. It, the nuns yeah. were great too. The nuns were really really creepy. I had two, and they were both like totally different personalities, which gave a great duality to the maze. Is every time we came through, it was like really a different show. That's awesome. Right here, Rich. Rich. The guy on the stilts that hides in the dark. Yeah, dude. That, that guy's guy. been there forever. That guy always gets me, bro. This is a great effect right here. Gets pulled up, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And he comes down. I think that's Steph. Shadow Demons are rocking in that room, man. That's a fun room to be in right there, though. It is. I used to sit behind the, these little slats on the wall and just watch them. Oh, there you go. I haven't seen him there. So, throughout the night, would you just be running back and forth to different scenes, see how everybody was doing and performance wise and everything? Yeah, um, you know, in uh, this is a great room too, right here. Yeah. Um, our paranormal was unique in the in the sense that we had a control room that had cameras in every room. Right. So I could sit in the control room and monitor everything at the same time. And if I saw something going wrong, I could run directly to that room. If I if I saw, you know, a guest push my nun, I could meet him right there at that red room yeah. and pull him out of the mix, something like that. Um, but when it came to those this, things such those things popped every yeah, time. Yeah, but oh, did they? Dude, every night. There's but, uh, look at it. <laughs> those that transition, dude, from like maze to like back in like you went back in time, like that was badass. And then this yeah. room right here, bro. So I finally figured out how to, I took all year to figure out how to get behind that thing and finally I did and I threw a couple monsters back there at the last weekend and had them scare once the scene transition and you could That's see awesome. through the walls and they'd jump at you. Yeah. And then when I was bored a couple nights, I would do the puppet too. <laughs> <laughs> Which was always fun. There was a camera in there, and you could see around the corner when people were coming. That's awesome. And then I used to just sit right here every night and just ask people how the maze was, what they liked, what they didn't like, how we could improve it. They have a pretty fun time, man. Yeah. But to your point, um, uh, I, I would go into each room individually throughout the night. Right. And I would just sit there and take notes and watch. And, you know, coach as much as I could or just yeah. observe as much as I could. Um, and at the end of the night, I would give them all notes and critiques or I would do it in the moment, too, and just try to, like, help them and push them. Yeah. Did you, get, you guys won maze. Maze of, you got one maze of the year that year, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We won maze of the year, man. Uh, we beat Shadowlands by just a couple votes. So shout out to them. They did really good that year, too. Awesome. Uh, but, yeah, man, we had all the big names came through. Ghost Adventures came through. We had the... Uh, um. Oh, uh, what is it called? The BuzzFeed people? The yeah. I forget what their channel's called, but uh, they came through. Right. Uh, so we had we had a lot of awesome opportunities to scare people. And, I mean, clearly they did a great job. That maze was like... Where was, uh, where was Vanessa Hudgens, though, at, bro? I don't know if she came that year, dude. I'm waiting. <laughs> I think this is the year Selena Gomez comes. And uh, I'm going to tell the guy on the marketing team, like, hey, listen, if she comes, I'm the guy. You don't I'm tell anyone else to take photos. Me. I'm the guy. 
me. That's it. That's, no hey, bro. Monsters. We've talked about this for a long time. That's your opportunity right there. Yeah, no, she's coming, dude. I can feel it. But uh, I, I'm i very fortunate to have led that maze. Now, there's a lot of obviously funny stories I can't, you know, really tell. We've talked about a few already before we started recording right. here. But um, it's uh, that maze was so fun to lead because of that control room. And in the control room, uh, we had um, in the – hospital room if you go to the, the left side you go through the, the hospital and then in the nurses quarters right in the hospital room and then on the other end in the after the library there's a room with a chair yeah that bounces around right in both of those rooms there's an air cannon and the air cannon is manually controlled nice. by the control room yeah so there'd be many nights where i was just you know Getting my getting my rocks off, scared, <laughs> and just sitting out there hitting the air cannon, just scaring the shit out of people. Hell yeah, dude! Just blow their skirts up and stuff. It was a bunch of fun. A lot of fun, uh, man. Yeah, that maze is so fun to lead, and I, I've heard who the cast lead is for the maze this year. I won't say anything, but uh, he'll have a great time. Um, that maze is a great maze to lead. I don't know if it's its final year or not. I, I'm not sure about that. Heard rumors, um, but nothing for certain yet. You never know. Yeah. But that that's the thing. Like that maze is so. The revamp is only like two years old, right? right? As far as the end scene. And that maze is so like, till this day, it's still so modern. Wasn't and trick or treat only around lights out only around for like two years. And then they took that out. Yeah, I think so. Uh, like paranormal is just so cutting edge, yeah. you know, like it's still, it, it's one of those things that will stand the test of time. Maybe do a sequel know? where you, you take it to another location, you know, that'd be a lot of fun. So that's what I've heard. I, I haven't heard from anyone reliable, but I've heard that, you know, it might be, how this was case 13, the haunting of Hayden Hill. It might go to case 14, whatever. Make it like an you know, anthology like it, series out of it, you know? Right. Correct. Cool. Yeah, correct. So cool. that could definitely happen. Yeah, man. Um, We're getting into fan but, theories and whatnot. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, just so many fun memories in that maze. You know, I remember uh, the, the fog used to set off the fire alarm, which was always interesting because <laughs> all the lights would turn on and all the monsters would be there all wide eyed. Yeah. Like, what do we do? And, um, you know, I always used to tell my talent just to scare through everything, scare through everything. You know, if the lights come on, scare through it. If someone, you know, hits you, just scare through it. You know, obviously yeah. we don't want that stuff to happen. Yeah. But it's kind of the nature of the job, yep. you know. And, um, you know, we got lucky that year. We didn't have very many guest complaints. We didn't have very many monster complaints. You know, I don't know how we did it, but I want to say it was – really to the credit of my talent just going in every night and just saying hey listen i just want to work we're gonna yeah. work our ass off tonight point blank period no matter what gets in our way we're gonna work our ass off tonight and they did that and they did it every night consistently and fucking champion team right there bro i really had a champion team dude i had like very minimal to no call outs you had like you know? the fucking 2010 lakers on your fucking i did dude i had i had the dream team dude yep. like i couldn't have asked for a better staff and I'm so fortunate I got that maze. I'm so fortunate that they let me pick who I want to pick in that maze. And, um, you know, I remember writing, and I still have them saved. I have each person's, um, like, after action report. Because every year, <clears throat> for all your staff, you have to write, like, this little post-mortem report on how they did. Right. Their strengths, their weaknesses, if they're rehirable, if they're not, whatever. And I remember writing them, and I think I had like 40 something talent in that maze, 40 or maybe in the 50s. And I remember writing that and being like, who am I not going to rehire? Like these guys were all rocking it, man. All unique in their own ways. Yeah. And it was, yeah. you know, it took a lot of time to write those reports, but I had such a great time doing it because it just let me reminisce on all the great things that each one of them did yep. and how they can all improve and how I'm going to see them get better and like, that just brought me joy, kind of like a dad, you know, like a coach. Good, man. That's how it should be right there, man. That's how it should be. And it, you just proved that right there, man. That's awesome. Did you uh, go through it in 2018? I did. Yeah, I did. did. What did you like in particular? Is there anything that stood out to you? Any scenes, any rooms that you liked? Dude, I, I'm always a fan of um, that room I was telling you with the uh, the, the morgue scene was good. But yeah, the, morgue uh, great. What always freaked me out was going around the corner and just seeing the chair move by itself. That's one of my. Oh yeah, and then you look at the camera, and there's like a ghost sitting on it and shit. And I'm like, yeah. So I think fun fact, I think that's if I, memory serves correct, that scene is like an old person getting choked out by a nurse. Yeah. And that nurse is actually pasta. 
Um, That's cool. Film that, yeah. So really and that cool. whole the pre-show, the pre-movie that you watch while you're in line is all filmed at Sage Knots with all people that you know I, I know, which is cool to see. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So uh, all fun. It really is, man. That that maze was so unique in the sense that there were so, so many elements that had never been done before in mazes. Yeah. You know, and I, in my opinion, it was really the first maze where technology and creativity met a perfect blend of equally great talent. Yep. Because I think sometimes you'll see one or the other, right? You'll have a maze that's maybe minimal on its technology. It's like, and, and a good example of that would be really every maze at Haunt from 2000 up to like 2014, yep. right? Very basic painted walls, nothing too extravagant, but you had talent that really made it rock. It rocked it. The yeah. Talent brought it. And then on the flip side, you'll have maybe have a maze where, and I can't really think of an example, but I'm sure there are some if I really put my head to it, where it's really pretty, but the talent is uh, subpar, you know? Yeah. Maybe they don't focus too much on scaring because they think that the the beauty of the maze will will you know give all that all that illusion. Yeah, but I think paranormal and not just twenty eighteen, just paranormal in general is the perfect blend of both. Yeah, I, I yeah. totally agree, man. Because uh, another one of my favorite scenes too was when you when you're going from one room and then you go through the the balloons that you said that popped all the time. All the time, <laughs> dude. It was so annoying. Uh, I had to go in there with masking tape all the time and tape that thing up. Oh, shit, dude. That's how I ended up with so many tape at the end of the year. Dude, they taught me how to sew. My, my, <laughs> my, 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 uh, uh, I forget the name of the people and I'm totally blanking, but there, I had three of them. They were like the techs or the techs. Yeah, the bats. Right. They taught me how to sew that thing up and I never knew how to sew before. I had to learn for that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> So it's always a good uh, little hobby to have, though, you know. Now you have that. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Now you know how to do it. Never know when you might have to do it. But um, right. going through that and then going into, like, the hospital, and it's all clean. And it's like it's like a twi- it's like an episode of The Twilight Zone where it just went from, like, dark to, like, really clean all of a sudden. But it's like a false right. ending in a way, so you don't know. It, the message I always took from the maze is, like, you're going through. You're thinking you're going to go through just watching a, a live ghost show happen. But then you actually go through the hospital, which causes you to go insane yeah, making you think that ending is a it's it's a false reality where mm-hmm. you're thinking it's one thing, but behind the walls it's a different thing. So it's kind of right. making you going insane, thinking like, "Well, fuck, was all that real or was all in my mm-hmm. head?" You know what I mean? So like, it, exactly. it's 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 a mind fuck when you think about it. Like I'm just <laughs> fucking I'm losing my shit right now just thinking about it. But you know, it's it's great because I, I that room. I mean, granted, for me too, I I, I would have a hard time scaring in that room the way that you're supposed to as a creepy nurse right you're not a monster really you're you're a character yeah and both the staff that i had for that i spoke to him about it i took him to the side i was like listen this is going to be tough this isn't going to be easy you know you're going to have it's really character driven it's really ambiance driven it's not that pop scare it's you know you have to just really get in their head without saying too much yeah and man they did it they did a fantastic job. And most of that's in the eyes, the eye contact and the wide eyes, and the, and the smile, smile, the sadistic yeah. smile. And they did that. They conveyed that perfectly, man. The how I thing in- how I would have approached it for me as a, mm-hmm. as a you know, freaking as a character, just kind of giving myself in that role. I do like the straight kind of like regular look and then slowly transition to that gritty look because that, that slowly tells you like, Oh, you walked in. One thing was fine, and then you walk. Now you keep walking. You're looking at this guy, and then he's starting to like get really sketchy. Yeah, that's how I would have approached that role. Yeah, um, I love that. And you know, I, I that that scene right there has so much room to be creative without having to give too much, yep. which is great. On the desk, there's a little notepad, um, and one of my talent, she uh, she would she started giving people her pen. And telling them to sign in to check into the hospital. That's cool. And I didn't know that at the end of the year, she had written all these all these people had written their names. That's on there. so I, cool, man. I, I tore them all off at the end of the year. At the last night, I tore them all off and I stapled them together and I gave it to her. I'm like, that's hey, awesome. you should keep these. This is a cool thing that you did. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, that's really cool. So the the only thing about that maze that I would have changed is that last room where the puppet is. Right. It's just really black and like basic walls. I wish it would have been a little bit more of like. I don't know, lighting or blue strobes or something, you know? Yeah. Um, I get what it's supposed to mean as far as, like, the hospital. Then you go in the transition room or 
you transition to like hell and then you're there. And yeah. I get it, but it just seemed, it always seemed a little bit plain to me. But, you know, what can you, what can you do? That whole end of the maze is uncovered. So it makes it a little, man, I'll tell you, <laughs> when it rains, dude, it rained that 2018 one night. So like a torrential downpour, poor dude. It rained so tremendously. I got my ass in there in a full suit, a nice suit, dude. It was an expensive suit. <laughs> fitted to me, tailored and everything. I had Gucci, bro. I was, it looked good. Gucci, it bro. Poured. It poured. So I went to the warehouse. I grabbed me a huge push broom and I swept out water an inch thick from that hole, from the nurse's room into the transition hallway in the puppet room because that's all uncovered. I swept all that water out and I was soaked to the bone. And I think that might have been the moment where all my staff started to respect me like truly because they saw the work I put in. <laughs> I Safe was to like, say you didn't wear you didn't wear that suit for the rest of the weekend. I couldn't, man. I had to go get it. Dry cleaned. <laughs> Dry cleaned, yeah. All that good stuff. I think that's the point where all the staff that didn't already love me were like, Yeah. This guy, this guy yeah. cares, you know. Yeah, dude. That's that was awesome. Tough. Yeah, 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 but that that shows, man. So I can't wait to go through it again this year and see what that new cast lead does, see what the new staff brings. Yeah. It's going to be rocking again, I'm sure. Yeah. I don't know what the new mazes are. I'm not privy to that. Um, I'm sure it'll be great. I think there's one, right? One or two? One, maybe? yeah. Shadowlands got, from what I've seen, construction. Uh, it looks pretty good. And in front of the construction that I've been seeing, it looks like we got a little circus tent there, so... Oh, so we're taking it back to the clown days? I was just hoping, you know, maybe because Horror Nights didn't do it this year that they got the rights to Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and, you know, but, you know, I could be wrong. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, uh, man, there's so many great mazes that you can review. I hope someone does see three Carnival Carnivorous Clowns. That was a, probably the best clown maze I've ever seen in Knott's. Yeah. Um, are the bumper cars getting a maze? I heard somewhere that they might be. I'm not sure if that's a rumor. No. Uh, what's going in that area, which was just confirmed last week, was the new, uh, there's going to be a new scare zone in that area. Yeah, I from, heard that. Uh, That'll be exciting. Yeah, goring from, 20s, right? Yeah, the Goring 20s. That's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, obviously, with mm. it's going to be going from the fountain in front of uh, Johnny Rockets all the way to the Western Gate. So from what I okay. from what I picked, it looks like it was going to be in that area. So That's tiny. It but, is tiny, but I'm hoping if it does, I think they're doing a test run, and if it does good, they'll expand it more. Well, I'm glad they're bringing a lot of zones in the knots. That's terrific. Yeah. I'm... I know who the lead is for that, and Badass. he's terrific. He's terrific, uh, a great staff-oriented guy, so I'm sure he'll really bring it. I'm curious how many people they're going to have in that zone because it's small, but if you only staff it with, like, 30 people, that could be more than enough. Yeah. So, so yeah, man, with haunt season officially happening this year, man, I got to ask the question. I probably already know the answer. What is the your most anticipated haunt this year, man? You know, it, it's it's always going to be knots, dude. Knots, to me, and no disrespect to any other maze or any other event or any other theme park haunt, knots is just there's something special, man. Knots could, in in you know, knots could potentially have a bunch of terrible mazes, but if you walk into haunt, there's a certain ambiance and a certain lore that comes with haunt. That's just different. Yep. That you just can't replicate at other places. Yep. And it's the staff and it's the carpentry team and it's the management and the talent. And it's just, you know, and I think what really encompasses it, and I encourage anyone that hasn't seen it to go watch it because I think it's on YouTube, is a season of screams, like the haunt documentary. I just from, watched that for the first time uh, a couple weeks ago. Man, something about that. Because so, and what you're seeing there is I think up until like 2004 or five. Yeah. And, that those are the years I, I started going in 2000 so those are you know that i i remember and yep man it just there's something different seeing those people those monsters who i now either know who they are or now even call friends scaring just being like wow like that's that's it that's you know it. and and the music that's in that documentary and the interviews that they do it just really encapsulates what haunt is and you know i just i think horror nights is terrific obviously i go every year i'll be going opening night again this year with my crew um i love horror nights you know it's great fun uh i, I think i'm gonna have to give you a phone call from the other coast then yeah please 
I know you're telling me you're going, and I'd love to hear how it is. I hear I'll give you a little FaceTime call. Be like, this is what Florida Horror Nights looks like. How's uh, Hollywood yeah, doing? I, you know, I've been to normal. I've been to Florida Universal. I've never been during the haunt. And it looks next level. So oh, I'm dude. excited for you. Yes. I'm really stoked for you. You're going to have yes. fun. I, I know. I hope, I hope Queen Mary happens this year. I um, so. If it does, you know, I'm, I always look forward to the mazes on the boat. Those are always great. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, it's got to be haunt. There's something special about that place. Okay, you know, it's, you know why it's special, bro? Because without that place, none of these other places would exist. Yeah, it's it's the biggest and the baddest Halloween party in the world, man. You never a often one, replicated, never a, duplicated. A one-off Cedar Fair theme park mm-hmm. has the start of it all, dude. That's it. Buena Park, That's California, it. will always be the historical location of the yeah. first ever major haunt. You know, it's funny too because, like, when I went to Georgia and to Tennessee to do some haunts with my buddies, you know. I, I, a couple of them, you know, I went to the side and I saw the owner and I pulled, I didn't pull the owner to the side. I approached him and asked him some questions. And, and I was like, Hey dude, like, this is awesome. This is a great event. Like, how'd you do this effect? And like, how do you hire your staff? And, you know, just general questions I'm curious about. Yeah. And they both asked me and they were like, you know, you seem to know a lot. And I told them I worked at, at haunt on ghost town and you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a worldwide sensation. You know, people know haunt. People know people Ghost Town. Know. People know Ghost Town. Yeah. People know not Scary Farm. Not Scary Farms. Halloween haunts. They know yeah. what that is. Yep. And to be a part of that, whether in my past, you know, or you know, any other time, is just it's 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 special to me. And at for you as a fan, I'm sure it's special to you too because oh, those hundred percent. You get to go see those things, you know? Yep. You get to be a part of it just as much as me or anyone else is. I get fortunate enough to live freaking 15 minutes down the way from where it all started. Isn't, dude. And then I get to go 45 minutes up the other way to go to the park that iconalized IP properties at a horror event. Yeah. And then you I get just... to, you know, I get to go the other way and go visit one of the most historic boats since, you know, <laughs> for World War II at a haunt. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like we're we're very privileged to live here. We're very fucking privileged. You know, I go up the freeway again, forty five minutes. I get to go ride a fucking his a hay ride at a historical park. Yeah, like dude, I I I love fucking this. I love this state so much. I do. You know, and you know, thinking about it now that you just said that, like I told you earlier, I think I heard somewhere that like Pennsylvania or Ohio have like the most haunted houses per like capita or whatever. Yeah, but. Really, Southern California might be the, the mecca of Halloween events. Bro, not to mention indie and home haunts. Mm-hmm. It's, it, yeah, you know. That, that might be it. That if it wasn't for the home haunts last year, bro, we would have had no Halloween at all. Yeah. And you know what? I'm, I am I was thinking, sorry, what is my, my dog's like walking under my desk. Little, come <laughs> on, come on. Um, I was thinking about it last year. And, you know, it sucked that we didn't have haunt. We didn't yeah. have horror nights. We didn't have Queen Mary. It was terrible, of course. Yeah. But how awesome is it in retrospect that the independent haunts got their time to shine? I couldn't agree more. Dude. It was the year of the home haunts, bro. Yeah. And how special is that? That they really got their chance to be, to, to, sh- it, to showcase what they were able to do. Dude. And that's so cool. I mean, Pirate's you know? Cave, bro. I didn't get to go, man. It looked great. Oh, my God. They did a phenomenal production. Uh, of a mixture of both live actors and a and a projected film with lights and and sound and Is there walkthroughs water. online. They got walk. We got uh, we got the we got the maze walkthrough and the 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 actual performance they did last year. You do have it, like yeah, on your channel. It. Okay, yeah, have I'm gonna have to peep that. It looks yeah. it looks terrific from the pictures I saw, but yeah. I, I need a. I need to see the walkthrough. Dude, man. Corona just, Haunt was fun. The Drex Society was cool. Um, I did the Corona Haunt on Halloween. That was yes, really well put together. That was good. Um, I love, man, I love that. I, I get so nerdy over that shit to see like three houses get together and like the dads or whatever be like, let's build a haunt. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and like, <laughs> like a lot of the kids get involved, you know, helping build. This is the yeah. next, this is the next generation of, of exactly. Builders. That's exactly what I'm saying, man. Yeah. That gets me so fired up to see the whole neighborhood be like, let's do this. Let's put together. Let's get and money. They're, let's and give they're, some of it to charity. It's not like they're like, they're not even like cheesy quality like they're high production oh, value yeah. dude like they were this, legit. Is something, this is something you see at haunts like this mm-hmm. belongs in a haunt why isn't this in a haunt yet 
yeah, no, it was, it, it really blew me away. It floored me. I, I love seeing that. And I remember, you know, I remember being young. I remember in 2003 going through independent haunts that yeah. little people put together in the front yards. It just wasn't the same. It seems like every year, the more knots and horror nights step their quality up, the more that these young kids get inspired and, and get knowledgeable and, and replicate that stuff. Dude, it, it, it really like, if I ever owned a major theme park and I ran like a well-known haunt, I would put a contest every single year to get a new maze of local home haunts. Whoever, Ooh. you know, blows us the way, we'll give them full production and, and full budget to actually make their home haunt how they want it now to that, make. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be pretty sweet, Just so man. you could showcase them for like a year, you know, like this yeah. year we have Corona Haunt and this is their original theme. We gave them the budget to, to make it how they want. And right. uh, we think it looks fantastic. We want to see what you guys think. Yeah. I, I would be that cool, you know, just because, awesome. you know, they are just as important. And I hope some of them are watching or like even Pirates Cave, like Pirates Cave, if they put on a full blown like effect heavy haunt in a warehouse, uh -huh. like like how War Paranormal was that, dude, they could pull off some good shit, man. Really oh, I'm shit. sure. I, I man, the 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 hayride that we scared at last year for two weekends was top quality, man. Yeah. If anyone has a chance to go check that out, it's a little far, but it's stellar, you know? It, yeah, yeah. I was so happy to see all these independent haunts really just thrive and showcase awesome. what they had. And, you know, yeah. these, like you said, these young kids are the future. They're the future, man. They really are. They're the future. My old ass is out of the game. You know, my, I, there are people who are old as hell that won't be here forever. Bro, and... I mean, you're going to be fucking sitting on the bench 60 years old while these like guys are barely in their prime, man. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to have the itch still. Yeah. I'm going to be sitting there. I'm going to be sitting there and I'm going to be like, that guy's kicking ass, and I know he's better than me, but, man, I want to try. You're like, man, I want to try. You're gonna, you're probably going to be in fantastic shape still, so you'll be able to do it no problem, bro. <laughs> I hope. I hope, man. All this deer meat keeping me lean, keeping my hey, protein up. protein, I, bro. There you go. That's right, man. I, I, I'm <laughs> sure I'll be at that point where I'm itching to get back no matter what age I am. It's in your blood. It's in you your know, blood, it's, man. It's right there. If you're a serious actor, a serious monster, it's, it's who you it's are. It's life, never going to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Aaron, I want to thank you for coming on the show today, reacting to uh, one of your favorite mazes, man, giving us some behind the scenes. It's been a pleasure, brother. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me again. I hope everyone likes, subscribes, shares this video, their channel, do the whole bit. All the bit. Um, and uh, yeah, man, it's a pleasure. pleasure I'm always man. here to support you guys. Thank you so much. Until next time we have you on, man, uh, we're, we're, we'll do something in the future. I promise you. We will. Sounds good, sir. I appreciate you. Uh, with all that being said, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Haunters React. If you guys did, like Aaron said, like that video and hit that subscribe button with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a new video. Follow us on Instagram at the Knights of Four and on Twitter at Knights of Four. I'm your host, Anthony, and we'll see you guys next week. You're moving into a